Hey everybody, I'm coming making this video message and I want to tell you all, let God be God. Let God be God. Um, The reason why I'm making this video message is because we have, and when I say we, I'm talking about every single person who says they believe in Jesus Christ. We have a bad habit sometimes of sticking our hands into situations that are either out of our hands or we sometimes have a bad habit of sticking our hands in things that are out of our control. They are beyond our control. They are beyond our understanding. We don't have the power or the strength or the knowledge to really know what is going on or why certain things are happening. And so when you don't understand something or when we, I'll say that, typically when we don't understand something, we will look to other sources to pull understanding from. We will look to other sources. What sources am I referring to? Friends, family, maybe somebody who is deemed as highly educated or highly intelligent or someone that you know is like a Bible scholar or someone who's older and very wise. They have a lot, a whole lot of life experience. And so we will reach out to these other sources trying to gain understanding as to why we might be in a dilemma that we are in. We, were at, we will ask questions. We will run some things across the desk of someone who we believe and trust or may have heard is really good at life. And there is nothing wrong with this. Let me say that. I don't want you all to think that there's something wrong with reaching out to a source that you trust, that you know, that you have confided in here and there with different things that have gone on with you and, um, over the course of your life this is not a bad thing it is nothing wrong with that but i want you all to understand in this video message that you have got to get so secure and so comfortable in god and in your faith that you allow god to be god even when you don't understand even when you don't have the blueprint of your situation, even when there is a little bit of fear, um, even when things just don't look good, they don't look hopeful for you, they don't look good for you. You may have been the type of man or woman that all your life you have totally submerged yourself in faith. When your name comes up amongst friends or co-workers or neighbors and people who know you, if they ask about your character or if they ask about your relationship with God, these people will say, oh, he or she, their faith is unshakable. Their faith is so strong. Their faith is so inspirational. They cause me to start relying more on God and having trust and faith in him. But it gets to a place and a point in our lives where so many things begin to happen. Some battle with health, some battle with their mental state or their mental health, some battle within their emotions. There is something awry in their emotions. One minute you feel happy, the next minute you feel sad. One minute you feel joyful, the next minute you feel bitter. One minute you believe that God is about to pull you out, the next minute you don't. 
you start remembering things you did and said in your past. And you may have even gotten to a place where you're listening to a lot of voices. And all of these voices are causing you to have anxiety. And when you are at that place where you are asking a lot of questions, either within yourself or you're pulling from different people that you trust or that you believe can give you the answer or the solution to your dilemma. I want to tell you all in this video message before I leave, you have got to let God be God. Let God be God. Because one thing about it, God is going to be God whether we want him to or not. This is just a fact. God is going to do what he's going to do regardless of what we do or don't do. God already has the answers. He already has the solution. He already knows our beginning, our middle, and our end. He already knows who uh, he's going to lift up. He knows who he's going to tear down. He knows who he's going to expose. He knows who he's going to bless. He knows who he's going to allow to walk through a deserved curse. God is going to be God, whether we like it or not, or whether we want him to or not. And so, since we know this, well, since some of you may have come to the conclusion that that is what it is, you have to take your hands out of a situation trying to change the trajectory of what it is you are experiencing. You've got to take your hands out of it. You've got to stop waking up in the middle of the night trying to come up with a solution. You've got to stop crying. You've got to stop worrying. You've got to stop being afraid because you want to see the end. You want to know the blueprint. You want to get a piece or a glimpse into what God is about to do next in your life. So today in this video message, I'm just simply telling all of you, let God be God. Be still and know that he is God. If you say that you trust God, if you say that you believe in God, if you say that you know that God has something for you, although you don't know when he's going to deliver it. You don't know how he's going to deliver it. You don't really even know if you're going to be 100% ready for it. Because sometimes with God, we can be so hopeful and on the edge of our seats waiting for God to come and show up and do something. Or we are waiting for him to drop the promise on us and we may be very very secure in the fact that we just know beyond the shadow of a doubt oh i'm ready for that promise i'm ready for that kingdom spouse i'm ready for that money i'm ready for my healing i'm ready for my relocation i'm ready for that new job i'm ready for the breakthrough in my family i'm ready for ministry work i'm ready for god to use me mightily in the anointing that he's placed on my life. But sometimes when God is being God, he catches us off guard with what he does. He catches us by surprise. We um, sometimes are not even 100% prepared for what God really does have for us or what God is about to do. But when you are still and when you rest in God, there is a peace that comes over you in spite of chaos. 
around you. In spite of chaos being around you, in spite of naysayers, in spite of the enemy trying to get in your head and remind you of your past, you have to let God be God because he's going to be God anyway. In Psalms 46, and I'm just going to quickly paraphrase it. You will see chaos in your life at some point. You will see disorder. You will see dysfunction. You will see storms. You will see storms in the lives of other people. You will have storms yourself. You will be sitting in the midst of a storm. But no matter what is going on within you, that is awry or that is off, no matter what is going on around you that you don't understand, you don't know how it happened, you don't know why it's happening, you've got to still let God be God and be still and know that he is God. The lane that he has you in and the path that you're on it was all designed and orchestrated by him. Regardless of how we feel, regardless of what we think, regardless of what other people think and what they say and how they perceive us in our lives, God is going to be God, but you, you who press play. Today I want you, if you've been this control freak, over your life, over your ministry, over the people that God has appointed to be with you as a destiny helper. If you have been trying to control every single aspect of your life, you're digging and searching and pulling from all these other sources to get answers and to get understanding. I am here to let you know you have got to let God be God. Let God be God. He is above you. He is above your way of thinking. He knows what you're going to do before you do it. He knows the outcome of the situation. He knows the way you think. He knows your temperament. He knows the ones who are worthy to be with you. He knows the ones who are trustworthy enough to be with you. He knows who needs to be removed from you. He knows what to remove from you when he can see that you won't be able to handle something or he knows when you are contemplating getting in your flesh because there is a part of you that is weak and you're in a place where something is overwhelming. God knows when it's time to shut something down and remove people from you or remove you from people. He knows this. But above all of that, you know what else God knows? He knows your heart. He knows your heart. He knows it. You don't know it. I don't fully know mine. We may understand that there's some things in there that shouldn't be in there. But God knows it. He knows the ins and outs of our heart. He knows it. And so, when you sit back and allow God to be God, the level of stress that you feel, the weakness that you feel, because sometimes you feel weak when you're losing control and when you're losing power of your situation and your options are running out. When options start to run out and it seems like your back is up against the wall, oh boy, it's a slippery slope. But I'm just here to tell you all, let God be God. It's okay. It's okay. 
let God be God. You be his obedient child. You keep trusting him. You keep praying to him, believing that he hears you when you come to him. You continue to keep your mind on him. And you continue to wait to see what God is going to do next unless he gives you specific instructions and tells you to move. Don't get caught up in what these carnal Christians and worldly people tell you because they will make statements and say, hey, listen, nobody is coming to save you. This life is 100% yours. Save yourself. You can make your own decisions and you develop your own outcome for your life. This is what worldly people tell you. This is what even some carnal Christians or backslidden Christians will tell you. But baby, understand that even when you stick your little hands in something and you write it out in your memo, and you say, I'm going to go here, I'm going to go there, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to call this person, I'm going to call that mother, that 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 person. I'm going to call my mother, I'm going to call my father. I got my team of people. I got everything. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Even in that, baby, God will shut you down. God will shut down production of the play you're trying to develop because he is God. Let him be who he is. He created you. Period. He can do whatever he wants with you. And so, whether you make a choice to say, I'm not going to let God be God. I'm going to do what I want. Even in that, he's still going to be God. When you guys get the availability, read Psalms 46. Everything that's going on around you, you got to be still. You, you're you going to get to a place in God where you are kept still. And you have no other choice but to trust God. That's the video message. Well, guys, it's time for me to go because I have some other things to do. The Lord will, and I will be back with another video message. If any one of you have taken offense to anything I spoke about in this video message, it's okay. It's all right. I'm not worried about it. I am not concerned because I know you will forgive me in the morning.